Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the significance in our change in smell as we age. We will talk about a few myths, the anatomical aspect of this process, a couple research studies, and how this correlates to our ability to taste. To start, I wanted to clear any myths that circulate around our ability to smell. The first one states that the lack of the ability to smell means that you have Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. That is not true. We will discuss this more in depth later. The second one explains how people think we do not lose our sense of smell until age 70. And the third myth acknowledges how people think the loss of smell is not serious, both of which we will discuss further. So to jump right in, I want to start with covering the basis of how our smell works. Our sense of smell is determined by the information given to our brain via cranial nerve one, also known as the olfactory nerve. When looking at the diagram, you can see the olfactory receptor neurons, which receive the aroma in which we are smelling. These are shown to be yellow in the diagram. These attach to the olfactory bulb, which is essentially the trunk for these branches. This follows the olfactory tract, which is the nerve itself, into the olfactory cortex of the brain that interprets the information given by the nerve. This shows the olfactory cortex of the brain. If you notice the part highlighted in yellow, located just inferior or below the lateral fissure, this is where the information is interpreted. All of the anatomy we just covered is very complex. Examining how all of this develops over time throughout the course of our lives is important for understanding the changes it may bring to our lives. This process does originate anatomically from an embryological stage of development. Olfactory neurons form within seven to eight weeks of prenatal growth. This is a part of us that is constantly changing as our prefrontal cortex is maturing until the age of 25. This is why our preferences and smell are always changing as well. As this continuously develops, the loss of smell is inevitable and starts around 60 years old. As we age, our sense of smell continues to develop. It also begins to progressively be lost. Anosmia is the loss of sensitivity to smell that begins around 60 years old. This is very normal. However, this could have an earlier onset if one experiences allergies, habitual smoking, or takes certain beta blocker medications regularly. Anosmia is also very prevalent in patients with Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. The relationship between smell and certain diseases is important. In particular, it can serve as a warning sign for the potential for future cognitive impairment. One set of researchers was interested in studying whether the loss of smell predicted cognitive decline over a six year time period. This Swedish study utilized a sample of 1,637 adults between the ages of 60 and 96 years old. Participants completed tests that measured their ability to de detect different odors and their cognitive performance. The researchers found that a decreased ability to smell was related to an increased risk of cognitive decline six years later. This relationship was stronger for participants who carried the APOE4 gene. This gene is associated with an increased risk of dementia. Another study published by the Alzheimer's Association looked at whether doing well on a smell and memory test can predict a lack of dementia in the future. Researchers started this study with just over 1,000 older adults who did not have dementia. Participants completed tests to measure their sense of smell and their memory performance. Researchers followed up four years later with a total of 749 participants. The researchers found that participants that did well when they tested their cognition and sense of smell were significantly less likely to have developed dementia when they followed up with them four years later. Kind of to circle back in a different direction, another important factor to smell is its correlation to taste. The main tastes interpreted in our brains are sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and savory. These two senses are linked because they use similar receptors. In most cases, without smell, taste is not functional. There are sometimes special cases in which people can still taste without the ability to smell. These unusual cases usually involve damage to the olfactory nerve specifically. This is a video to help give a visual representation of how taste correlates with smell. It has a lot to do about the anatomical aspects of where the nerves for taste and smell are located in proximation to each other. 
Thank you so much for listening. I hope this helped to give a better understanding of how important our sense of smell truly is.